We're going to sketch some graphs of uh, sine and cosine and then do some transformations on them. So if I think about sine, just I'll just have this equation y equals sine x. And if you think about sine, um, sine is about, it's about height. So if I think about in that unit circle, right, where that radius is 1, the sine is that value right there. The sine is, is the height of the, of the um, terminal point given that rotation. So as we start at 0 degrees, notice the height is 0. And then when we get up to 90 degrees, notice the height is 1. And it keeps going around like that. The height is 0, the height is negative 1, the height is back up to 0, and it just keeps doing that. So if I were to graph sine, I'll give myself a little bit of space here, 90, 180, 270, 360, that's a height of 1, that's a height of negative 1. If I were to graph sine, um, at 0 degrees, when x is 0, the height is 0. And then as I get up here, 90 degrees, the height becomes 1. And then back at 180, down over here, it's 0. At 270, it's negative 1. At 360, it's 1. And then it starts to repeat itself again. It just keeps doing that. This is a nice, smooth curve. It's not jagged. It keeps looking like that. Notice a couple things. I've got uh, this midline here at y equals 0. And then I have a stretch from the midline of 1. That's called the amplitude. Now, similarly, I could graph cosine. So let's do that. I'm going to use those same uh, 90, 180, 270. And if I think about that unit circle with cosine, um, cosine is, is about width. So as I'm going around the circle, this is my cosine value. So out at the extreme, in other words, at zero degrees, the width is 1, and then as we're going around the circle, that width decreases till the width gets to 0 there. So, up to 1, down to negative 1. Cosine, again, think about being on the circle. At 0 degrees, it has a width of 1. So I start at the extreme. Up to 90 degrees, it has a width of 0 down to 180, up to 270, up to 360. So cosine looks like that. Again, midline at 0, amplitude of 1. And if you look at those two graphs, you can see they look a lot alike. Uh, cosine and sine, cosine is just the shifted version of sine, like shifted back 90 degrees. So now we know what those uh, parent graphs look like. What we can do is we can just start to do some transformations on them. So if I had to graph y equals, say, uh, 3 plus 2 sine x, we know that this 3 is going to move it up down. That's a, that's a shift up of 3. So that puts our midline at 3. So instead of a midline at 0, it's going to be up to 3. And then that 2 is the amplitude. That's the stretch. It's been uh, stretched by a factor of 2 off the midline. So if I go to sketch that, Here's my 0, and I'll put same 90, 180, 270, 360. My midline's at 3, so it's been shifted up 3. 1, 2, 3. So there it is right there. This is going to end up being in my way, so I'm going to move it a little bit. It's been stretched by 2, so it's going to get all the way up to here and all the way down to there. And now since it's sine, I know that sine starts at the midline and goes up. So it starts at the midline, up, back down, back up. So there's a sketch of that. Notice the pieces. Three This is the midline. Two is the amplitude, the distance from the midline to one of the extremes. 
Now, if this had been a negative 2 sine, let's say, that this was like 3 minus 2 sine x, everything would be the same, but since that's negated, it gets, it gets flipped across the midline. It still starts at the middle, but it would go down instead of up, so it would look like that. I'll do a quick sketch of cosine. So uh, let's say that y equals uh, 5 minus 3 cosine x. So let me think about this. Midline's now at 5, so I would have this y equals 5. My amplitude's 3, so it's go up 3 from there, 6, 7, 8, up to 8, and down to 2. So my zero, you know, is way down here. So there's my 90, there's 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. I'm just not putting the x and y axis on here. Just, just, to, just to be quick. Um, cosine always starts at an extreme. So it usually starts at positive one and goes down. But since it's been negated, it's going to be reflected across the midline. So this will actually start at the minimum and go up. So this starts at the minimum and goes up. Again, that, that negative value does that. So this will look like that. Notice if it had been positive, it, if it had been 5 plus 3 cosine x, I, it would start up at the maximum and go down. What that negative multiplier does is it flips it or, or reflects it across the midline. All right, I hope that helps.